Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, we're gonna try cabin crew makeup from a different airline. On my last episode where I did the Cebu Pacific cabin crew makeup, I asked you which airline cabin crew makeup would you like me to try out next? And on the comment section, it started raining. Emirates, 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 Emirates. So I decided on today's video, we're gonna be doing Emirates cabin crew makeup tutorial. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. So for those of you who are not aware of the cabin crew uniform of Emirates, here it is on the side. And I've tried to search online what are the makeup standards for Emirates. It's just the usual browns, grays, neutral colors, earth tones on the eyes, and the usual peach, rose, uh, brown, bronzer on the cheeks. And of course on the lips, they're very iconic red lipsticks. So let's begin. As usual, my foundation, my eyebrows, and my hair is already done. So we're gonna get started with the eyeshadow. So for the eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using this. Um, it looks very blue on the screen, but this is actually a gray shade. So let's see how it turns out. If it's a little bit too blue, we're gonna mix it with a little bit of black. So let's get started. Their uniform is beige, so if you go really light on the eyes or really light on the lips, it's not gonna look nice. It's gonna look very dull. So let's try to amp up this look. I can see that it looks blue. I'm gonna try to add um, some shade of black just to neutralize it a little bit, make it a little bit more gray, and mix that with the brown later on. Let's see how that works. I don't usually use a lot of black whenever I apply my makeup, but just for the sake of this video, I'm doing that just to neutralize because it looks very blue for me. So just take note that whenever you use black eyeshadow, just be very light-handed on it. Don't apply too much of the product or else you'll end up looking like you have a black eye. Now that we have blended it nicely, I'm going to start um, uh, doing a cut crease here just to be a little bit more extra. And for me to do that, I will need to apply a little bit of concealer here in the inner corner of the eye just to amplify the... Uh, the highlighter that we're gonna apply. Since we've already applied black there, we're sort of erasing it a little bit. Whenever I do my makeup for flights, I don't really plan it ahead of time. Like, I don't go and sit there like, okay, for this day, this is gonna be my final look. I just sort of look at my palette and see what color appeals to me on that day. And usually, the end result of my makeup is also a surprise for me. So for the highlighter, I'm gonna be using the lightest shade right here. You can, you can really use any highlighter that you want. For this one, I'm just gonna use my finger just to pat the pigment in there. And then on the center, I'm gonna be applying this purplish highlighter over here. It looks like almost unicorn-ish shade. Mm, it didn't really do much, but let me apply it here. And then I'm gonna switch to a more pigmented eyeshadow just to get the intensity that I like. So, just to make it even. And then I'm gonna add perhaps this shade right here. Just to add a little bit of color. And then I'm gonna get the same brush that I used to blend the black eyeshadow. And then I'm gonna blend it with a really, really dark brown shade right over there because I don't want to overpower it anymore with a black shade. But just to tie everything together. I like doing this makeup technique because I feel like it just provides a smoother transition between the colors. And again, I'm going to be using the same highlighter that I used for the inner corner of my eye. Just because I don't want to add any more color. Any other shade. This technique is very helpful if you're not really good at blending your eyeshadows because it just gives you a smoother transition from your darker colors whenever you're doing a smoky eye. And now we're gonna start lining the lower lash as well. I'm gonna start off with a highlighter from here. And then we're gonna use a darker brown for the outer corner. And 
Now let's apply our liquid eyeliner. The one that I'm going to be using for today is um, Hyper Sharp from Maybelline uh, New York. I have received questions from you guys asking me how do I perfect my winged look and all I can say here is that you really need to practice on this one. What works for me is that I don't really completely shut my eyes whenever I apply my uh, liquid eyeliner because that way I can ensure that my lines are straight, it's not crooked and that they are even. For this look, I, if you could notice, I extended the eyeliner towards the inner corner of my eye just to give a sharper look. And I've also applied liquid eyeliner uh, at the lower lash line of my inner eye. Since I also applied a black liquid eyeliner here, I don't want it to look like it's just cut from there. So I'm just gonna blend that out with a brown eyeshadow. Next thing is the mascara. I feel like this is something that you should never ever forget to apply because it just ties up your entire eye makeup look, if that makes sense. I just feel like it opens up my eyes and it gives it extra vibrance. It makes me look extra, extra awake. Next step is contour, blush, and highlight. I'm not gonna apply any pink blush for today because I have really dark eye makeup for now and then I'm gonna apply red. So it's just gonna look very over the top if I apply a pink blush. So instead of that, I'm just gonna do a contour, a slight bronze, and then we're gonna go ahead with the lipstick. I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. Contouring looks amazing on photos and on videos, but in person, that's not very much the case so at least be very very light-handed when you're doing your contour if you're not going for any photo shoot um, try to blend it out nicely try to avoid having very um, very extreme lines on your face whenever you do your contour if you're not gonna go for a photo shoot after contouring I'm gonna be applying this shade right here so it's a little bit um, of a bronze shade so this is very pigmented So as you can see, blush is done. Not really blush, but more of a bronzer. Then we're gonna finish that off with the highlighter. Of course, my favorite. Fenty um, Hasla Baby. And to finish up our Emirates Cabin Crew look, of course, we cannot forget the iconic red lipstick. So for today, the shade that I chose is um, number 20 Pioneer in Maybelline. If you haven't noticed, my current favorite and my... I'm just really crazy about Maybelline Superstay lipstick nowadays. If you are still on the lookout for the perfect red lipstick, my tip for you is to try to stay away from red lipsticks with orange undertones because those shades tend to make your teeth look more yellow. Whereas shades like the one I'm wearing here has a blue undertone. So whenever you're wearing this, it makes your teeth look whiter. And then I'm just gonna apply a little bit of a darker shade of red just for the outer corners. Just to make an ombre, ombre effect. So that... So this is our finished product. This is my take on the Emirates Cabin Crew makeup look for their flights. So just a little disclaimer for you guys. Um, the entire look that I did today is just based on the photos that I've been seeing online. Instagram photos of um, crew who are working for Emirates. And this is what I noticed. Um, so don't kill me if you know that the certain color is not allowed. The point is, this is my my version of the emirates cabin crew makeup so if you enjoyed watching this as always of course give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't and if you have any more requests for other airline cabin crew makeups that you would like me to try out in the future i already have one more um video lined up after this one so stay tuned for that try to guess which airline makeup i'm gonna be trying out uh, on my next video this has been days with cat i will see you next time bye